There's just so much more to being an engineer today than there was in the early days of my career. Today's circuits require us to measure sub ohm power plant impedance for high-powered FPGAs and CPUs. We're checking inductors to make sure that they don't saturate. And we're measuring the negative resistance of the powertrain for EMI filter stability. We need to check the dynamic step load response at hundreds of amps. Our system boards include dozens of voltage regulators and each one of them needs to be evaluated for control loop stability using Bode plots. We're evaluating power supply rejection ratio or PSR to check noise isolation and power supply modulation ratio which is the major cause of jitter. We're checking the accuracy of our controlled impedance traces and measuring sub-millivolt noise. We're measuring sub-nanosecond GAN-fed currents and troubleshooting EMI. Some of us are characterizing switching power supplies and checking for efficiency, validating safe operating areas, or performing magnetics analysis. We're de-embedding and characterizing probes due to the high edge speeds that come with GAN-FETs and hoping to see Miller plateaus to correlate with simulations while we're checking multi-gigahertz microwave filters that isolate our transceivers and similar requirements are needed for doing inverter, motor, and drive analysis. We can do all of this with just the Tektronix MSO6 series or MSO5 series oscilloscope and PicoTest accessories. So what do you want to measure? <laughs>